guess what? Another A's fan favorite is gone. Now, I'm not as mad about this as I was with, say, La Stella and Simeon, because at least we got something out of this. This was a trade rather than just a signing. Um, so the A's traded Chris Davis and Jonah Heim for Elvis Andrus and some other players from the Rangers. Um, I think one more player and then some cash considerations. And, you know, I saw this, I kind of saw this coming. Chris Davis, and I think a lot of other fans saw this coming too. Chris Davis was, he was overall for the A's, probably going to be, have a have a place in our history. He had the most home runs in, in the entire league in 2018. Um, but the problem is, is just he couldn't stay consistent. In 2019, 2020 is where you kind of saw him dipping. Um, so in 2020, he had two, only two home runs. Now it was a shortened season, but still only two home runs, set only 17 hits. Um, so not not a good season and 10 RBIs. So, you know, it was it was kind of hard to see. Right. And like I said, he was a fan favorite, like looking around my room. I got a Chris Davis poster right over there. I got another Chris Davis poster over there. I have a T-shirt of this guy. I have a jersey. You know, I have a lot of merchandise for this guy because he was marketable. And, and I have a bat with his name with his name on it. Like he's very he was a big fan favorite. It just was unfortunate that things couldn't pan out. Right. Um, for Elvis Andrus, he was also kind of struggling. He's been on the Rangers for a really long time. I think over 10 years. Um, and he's a two-time All-Star. Um, last year in 2020, he had three home runs. So just one more than Davis, 20 hits. So pretty much the same stats as Davis. Um, although Davis, I think had a pretty much a better batting average. Um, and he had seven RBIs. So both of these guys were struggling. Um, and in, in addition to giving Chris Davis, the A's also gave Jonah Heim, who was a catcher and he was a rookie last year. Um, or maybe it was, he was just very young and he, he was, he was good. Don't get me wrong, but we have Sean Murphy, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, and I think we got a catcher in return. So it kind of fills that gap, um, in this trade and Elvis Andrews, we need a shortstop. Now this guy's definitely a downgrade from Marcus Simeon, but who knows? No one thought Mar uh, Tommy Listello would be good. And he was, so we'll see. Um, you know, I'm not like, I'm pretty like, I don't know how to feel about this. Cause like we get something in return, but then one of my like favorite players in, in recent history of watching the A's is gone. So I don't know how to feel about it, but, um, I guess, let me know in the comments. If you're an A's fan, let me know how you feel about it because it's weird. Like seeing Chris Davis go and like all these guys go and ultimately, ultimately it leads back to this ownership, right? If you want to I'm not going to get into all the details, but if you want to know about the, the how I feel on the ownership of the A's, go watch my video um, about the Tommy LaStella trade. Anyways, the A's ownership, these trades always happen. You know, they get a player that's been struggling and maybe they get rid of a guy who had a down year. And guess what's probably going to happen? I'm, I can probably guarantee you that Chris Davis is going to have a good year next year because whenever the A's trade a player that is struggling, he does good the next year. There's plenty of examples like that. Um, John Lester, they, they trade him two years later, he wins a world series and, and he was a big role player in that. Um, uh, okay. Uh, Rich Hill, not many people know Rich Hill, but he was a big, really good pitcher on the, on the Dodgers. He was a former a Max Muncie. We all know him as a Dodger, but he was an A's player first. So all these guys like struggle on the A's and then somehow do good in different organizations. I don't get it, but we'll see. Um, I guess my opinion on this overall is mixed emotions. I don't, I'm not particularly, particularly in favor of this trade, but I'm not like bawling my eyes out sad. I mean, I, I, I Chris Davis was, was awesome, um, in his prime and, and, and it was just time to let him go, I guess. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you made it this far and let me know your thoughts on the trade and peace out guys.